Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I have some empties to share with you. Um, I hope everybody is having a great week. I cannot believe that tomorrow is September 1st. I mean, I can and I can't. Um, my kids have already been back in school for, is this the end of week five or week six? Oh gosh, I can't even keep track. Anyway, let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with um, vendor and retail. Yeah. So from Bath and Body Works, a wallflower in white t-shirt. I do really enjoy this one. It's scent notes are crisp hair, lavender cloud, and soft sandalwood. I love this in the body wash as well. So we'll replace that I think in the hallway in the upstairs hallway I have a couple Bath and Body Works body washes um, finished up Waikiki Beach Coconut which is tropical white coconut salt water breezes sun and oh sun bleached woods my husband actually used that one because he didn't have his like normal stuff that he enjoys using and I used Midsummer Dream and I love this I've had it before salted pear fresh nectarine and seaside lily so what did I say was in here why do I feel like I'm repeating myself with things crisp pear that's why I'm like I feel like I already said this but anyway really like this um just a very pretty, pretty scent. This one I feel like does linger on the skin after the shower. Okay, from Goose Creek, I went through a blueberry limeade. I don't think I've had this one before. And it was a nice blueberry with the tartness from that lime. Um, about four-ish hours in the open concept, so that's okay. From Walmart, uh, Better Homes and Gardens, Kitchen Herb. I love this. It's purple basil, fennel, white lavender, sage, mint, and chamomile. Super pretty. My store did not have any. Um, so I just ordered like a six pack um, online. I really love this, like all throughout the living space. Does really well. Nice, clean, fresh scent from Sassy Girl Aroma, a sample in Lily of the Valley. You guys, this was so beautiful. Now on cold, it smells like it's going to like blow the roof off your house. However, I put this in my laundry room, which I have a Sensi 15 watt warmer in there. This was gorgeous. It was like a light medium. Yeah, that's really how I would describe it. This thing was in there for five days, and it was just pretty. It wasn't really coming out. It didn't hit you in the face when you walked in. It was just, like, nice in there. I don't have a huge laundry room. Um, yeah, I'm surprised how much I like this because I thought it was going to be, like, crazy, crazy strong. It was, like, the perfect amount of fragrance. So I really, really enjoyed that. From the Bathing Garden, this is Scandisley scandalously excuse me um talking flower bomb and it's soft and milky jasmine ylang ylang and clary sage it's supposed to be a dupe of sex bomb from lush very pretty soft feminine um again i'd say like a medium in strength i wouldn't necessarily seek that one out but if i was making a purchase I would throw that in if it was um, available. It really was pretty. From Second and Spruce, a sample in Honey Pear Cider Donut. Oh my gosh, this thing knocks my socks off. I love this so much and I knew I was gonna love it when I smelled it on cold. It's Spiced Honey Pear and Apple Cider Donut. This is amazing. Definitely need um, this, I will order this, um, in her pre-order tomorrow because that was fantastic. I cut that in half, put it in two warmers, 
um, in my bedroom and it did really, really well. Um, another from Second and Spruce. This is from her Carnival Sampler. It's a fried dough. It's a fried dough, flaky crust, cinnamon, and brown sugar. Ugh. The best, the best fried dough. I loved this. It was in the shape of a donut. Um, warmed this a few different times in my bedroom. I just, I didn't feel like it was enough for open concept. Um, and I really, I just kind of wanted to be selfish and enjoy it. So I did and I loved it. So good. Great performer. Um, oh, I guess I did do a lot of, a lot of second and spruce. From um, K Scented Melts. This is her K Cuts, the eight ounce bag in customs, which I mean, I didn't come up with this. I've had it before and she just re- made it. Beach Nights, Lavender Marshmallow, and Sugar Cookie Royale. Gorgeous. Anywhere, everywhere. I mean, minus bathrooms, but all different kinds of warmers everywhere. Love, love, love this. Um, really pretty. Her Beach Nights is the Bath and Body Works Beach Nights. From Second and Spruce, Raspberries at Tiffany's. Oh, goodness gracious. Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I love hers and I love Kay's. Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And then it's mixed with her delicious raspberry puree. True, delicious, fruity raspberry, not floral, um, in a mini loaf. Amazing. Loved. Oops. And we're going to have things fall down. From Rose Girls. This was poolside in the rain. Just a beautiful kind of soothing, perfect for hot days. Blackberry, her fluffy towels, salty sea air, and then rain. I've had her regular poolside. This was a lovely added note of that rain in here. Beautiful. Um, all over the house. Enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed. From the bathing garden, Marie Antoinette's Boudoir, which I did write this down. It's a floral, um, but it has, so it has citrus. It says fresh air, spring melons, lotus blossoms, lily of the valley, and bamboo musk. Absolutely stunning. In my laundry room, once I took the lily of the, is that what it was, lily of the valley? Is that what I said? Gosh, yes, the sample out from um, Sassy Girl. I put this in, just enough scent, not crazy over the top, headache inducing anything, but you smell it in a really pretty way walking into the laundry room. From Second and Spruce, Raspberry Jam, just raspberries and sugar. Fantastic, only a little bit of this left. I just, I love it. Um, again, I mean, I don't know what else to say except her stuff is booming in performance. Um, everything that I have tried so far is a feat, like is something that I love and would put it on a repurchase list. From That Smell Good Shop. Oh, this was so good too. So this is her Nag Champa, which is the, or Nag Champa, however you want to say it. The Champa flowers, spices, and resins. So kind of like a like a crystal shop, a head shop. Um, when we lived in Salem, Massachusetts, they had like magic shops, and this is like how like downtown kind of smells in October. It's really nice. This was was this the twelve pack? Yeah. So um, this is a scent that my husband is not like a big fan of. I think if I warmed it probably once in a while, he really wouldn't complain. But what I do is I will warm this in my bedroom when he is traveling. But my oldest son really liked this. So I think maybe I got two cubes <laughs> out of this. Um, anytime, and it lasts. It really, really lasts. Anytime it was time to change out his wax, he was like, do you have more of that? So this really went to him. 
and he liked it and I'm totally fine. I'm a very good sharer. Um, and I can't even say that I was surprised that he liked it because I'm really not. I think he's going to also like this um, Gollum that I have from that Smell Good Shop, which is patchouli, vetiver, and citrus. So I will see if that's something that he's interested in um, once it's time to switch wax out again. But I just put that in today, and it'll be there for it'll be there for a few days. Um, and then last for retail, and then I just, oh no. Okay, this Kringle Candle Donut Worry. You guys, this seriously smelled like crayons. I did not get anything from this. Um, and I specifically put this on when my air was off. Because I told you guys we shut the air off from 3 to 6. <laughs> um, Monday through Friday. And... Yeah, this, is it crayons or like Play-Doh? Maybe more like Play-Doh. Ugh, I'm glad that I got this on sale, but it just, it smells kind of okay on, on cold. It just didn't do, it didn't do anything, sadly. Second in Spruce from the Carnival Sampler. This was Clown and Coffee. Oh my gosh. Espresso, caramel apples, which I love. I don't like, um, well, I'll tell you. Um, hints of cotton candy and funnel cake. So I thought this was going to be ooey gooey apple, which I am not a fan of. I do not like caramel at all. This was delicious, strong espresso, like it should be. Ugh. And you got like a, that fresh apple from an orchard scent and funnel cake. I got a little sweetness, I'm guessing, from the, um, cotton candy, but this was amazing. Clownin' Coffee, if this comes back like separate from the um, Carnival Sampler, 100%, 100% get. I would 100% get. Um, okay, so that was Retail and Vendor. Sorry, I have a tickle in my throat. Now on to Sunsea. Oh, I did finish one candle. I finished from Hallmark's. Um, kitchen herbs. You guys, I, I love this. I love this. The scent notes are wild mint, sorry, wild mint leaves, fresh thyme, sage, and bay laurel. 100%, 100% repurchase. That is, and I just, I love the um, wrap around on here. I might keep this. <laughs> Just because I don't know what I would really put in it. Let's find a place in my kitchen, which I don't like having a lot of stuff on my kitchen counters. But um, I don't know. I'll think of something to put in there. But it did really well. It got a little, see, right over there. Because one of the wicks went out once and it burned for like two hours without me like knowing. But this thing self-extinguished. Um, so... Boy, did the, was this thing good. This was great by itself, like a couple hours. Sometimes if I wasn't warming coffee in the morning, I would light this candle in the morning for a few hours or after dinner. Um, I would burn that. And it was really great with um, the kitchen herb. Name the same thing uh, from Walmart. So 100% repurchase of the kitchen herbs from Hallmarks on sale, you know, when I see it. Okay, on to Sensi. Finished a counter clean in Squeeze the Day. I think I'm kind of over Squeeze the Day. I had a little bit, I wiped down the counters and my stove and then um, did my floor uh, last night, like late, like, one kid was in bed and I was waiting for a kid to come home from work and I felt like I was going to fall asleep. So I got up and washed the floor. Um, and on clearance or if I'm, you know, using it as a host reward, but I just feel like 
I, I may have used too much of it in the past and now I'm ready for something different, which I just opened a bottle of the vanilla mint one, which I absolutely love. So there's that. Okay. One thing of pods in pink rhubarb sugar. I love this. I did not put this in my club. I may be upset um, that I didn't put the wax, but I can't, I, I just, you know, you know how it is. I do really like this. And I feel like if you like rainbow sherbet, very bright, um, all that kind of stuff. So I have a Wolfram diffuser in the boys' bathroom currently just because I don't know how they're knocking into that warmer. It's just the mini warmer. But to be honest, I'm getting, getting a little tired of wax being on the countertop in there that I'm like, nope. Let's try just using the, um, the pods in there. And they don't last as long in my bathroom. Um, first time, and I have new ones in there now. I feel like, now tell me if I'm asking too much from these. I do leave them on all the time. I think I had them in for nine, between nine and 11 days, maybe 12. Maybe it was two weeks. I don't know. Should these be lasting longer? Because I swear when I use the pods in my kitchen, they last forever in the bigger um, diffuser. Let me know what you guys, what your experience is. Because maybe I'm just expecting too much from this. I don't know. But there's that. Blue Coconut Beach, which was the ten, one of the 10 new like summer scents, right? So not available. And I thought I really loved this and I had it in my, I put it in my club. And then when I was editing my club, I'm like, I don't love it as much as I want to. That other one, the like coconut water one, I like more. So I believe I kept that one in my club. Um, but Blue Coconut Beach is palm leaf, creamy coconut, and whipped vanilla. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It just didn't do for me the second bar, how I remembered the first bar. That's all. It could be that I'm just over summer stuff. I don't know. But I'm not going to have any regrets about things I didn't put in my club. I just, it's wax. If it comes back, fantastic. If not, I know I'll fall in love with something else, so... Um, fuzzy blanket. So much flipping hype over this guy that I couldn't believe that I had managed to live my life without this. So many people talk about this. This is a big, huge nothing to me. I like fluffy fleece so much better. Yeah, this is lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. It was from June, Bring Back My Bar. So I picked up a couple. I... Would have been fine, I think, never having this. There's other things that Sensi has that um, are just are just as good. I like the name of it. It's a cute name, but um, yeah, definitely can live without it. Cucumber lime, really like this one. Again, this was a bring back my bar for Jan from January. Um, it's cucumbers, lime, and mint, and it's really nice. And I have another bar of it, and I'm gonna be fine. Um, my husband thought this was good initially, and then he said it reminded him of, like, Febreze or Glade, but he liked it when I said, oh, I think I'm going to put this in today, and he smelled it when the whole bar was in here, um, and then after several hours, he said, it smells like somebody sprayed Glade. I don't get that. I think it's nice. It's a clean, great, summery scent. And definitely enjoy it. So that one. Um, flower shop. So I had kind of um I mix with that. Oh, I think I did do the second time. I somehow mixed cucumber, the cucumber lime and the flower shop. I think an alternating warmer, sorry. I don't know if somebody's at my door. Um I liked Flower Shop more upstairs. I don't know if the 
the airflow is better or I'm not up there 24 seven. I'm spending more time downstairs because the kitchen, <laughs> the kitchen and the living room and the dining room are down there. Um, I liked it. It kind of um, has grown on me a bit. It was the Bring Back My Bar from January. It smells like the stems of a flower. Everybody has tried it, I'm pretty sure. And like I said, it was nice um, with the cucumber lime. I have another one of these. It was pretty, it's great in the summer. White Sands, you guys. So I've had this before a few years ago whenever it was out and my youngest son loved it. I don't remember how he described it a few years ago, but when this came back for Bring Back My Bar for June, he smelled it. I was like, oh my gosh, I remember this. Because I didn't add it in my club the last time, the time before this one. Um, but I figured, you know what? He doesn't say, like, he kind of likes everything, but he never asks um, for me to put stuff in my club. He'll say, like, oh, can you, can you get, no, can you put such and such in my room? And I'm like, oh, I don't have that anymore. That was, you know... Uh, bring back my bar or sent to the month and I didn't stock up on it. And he's like, oh, this one I know he really likes. And it's not something that as soon as it stops scenting his room, he wants it immediately again. Like he'll pick something else and then we go back to this. So it takes me a while to get through things that I warm in his room. Um, Cause he does like a variety. So he was happy to have this again. Let me tell you, it's Jasmine, coconut milk and rice. So this time, when it's warming in this room, he's like, wow, that like straight up smells like root beer. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I said to him, a lot of people that have warm this say this. Now when I smell it on cold, that's what I think it smells like. I definitely get like root beer or cream soda kind of situation. But I, it, I don't, when it's warming, I get more of the Jasmine. Yeah. Um, but he was like, oh, it smells like straight up, um, root beer and I said well I put I put a bar of it in my club so we'll get one every three months and he's like no that's good I do really like it he just said it's not something that I want that he would want every single day so one um I keep looking at my nails and they look horrific one bar for three months he's happy because there's so many other things that he really likes and I'm pretty much only warm scentsy in his bedroom I did the combination again that Christine's Christine Sensine. Scene? Yeah, I think. I'm sorry, Christine, if that's not your... I think it is. Anyway, she was on a live that Martha did. I'm pretty sure that's where she mentioned this. And she mentioned mixing crumb top and cocoa lime. And, like, the next day after that live, I warmed it and loved it. I love cocoa lime anyway, and I really do. Look, I like this crumb top. I do not have crumb top in my club. I have a few more bars, so I'm good. Love cocoa lime all by itself. I know for some people it's a little too tart or some people get like cleaner vibes. Um, I really get that creamy vanilla in here. So anyway, long story long, I mixed the crumb top and the cocoa lime again and it's so good. It really is. So thank you, Christine, for talking about that. So you guys, if you have crumb top and you have cocoa lime, I'm sure the crumb, the cocoa lime, if you're looking for like a, <clears throat> like a key lime pie or a something to make this more bakery, even the sugar cookie or, you know, um, so really fantastic combination. And I will definitely be doing more of that. Cocoa lime I did put in my, um, in my club. I really do love it. And Ruby Nectarine. And excuse me, I think Rainbow Sherbet. I don't know. My club, I believe I switched the date because it was supposed to process like on the 20th or something of September. And I bumped it to um, the 3rd, September 3rd, just because my kids are going to be on break and traveling and stuff. So I don't need Sensi sitting out somewhere. So anyway, that's it. Sorry. I was very rambly today. I apologize. I appreciate you <laughs> sticking around for my rambles. Um, so that's it. It was a great week. Um, loving being at home and warming things and really being able to fully enjoy 
my wax from start to finish and not like putting stuff in and having to leave to go to work. So I really do. Um, and I feel like I'm not getting through a lot more than I did when I was working outside the home. I don't think, but that's it. You guys, sorry. I really don't, I'm not, I'm not really hauling much. I'm not buying much. The wet, the temp slowly starting to creep back down. Um, we were not in triple digits today, I don't think. And then I feel like the weekend is supposed to be like high 90s. But um, yeah, I just tend to really kind of take a break from buying wax in the, in the summer. Um, yeah, so that's it. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. Everybody's happy and healthy. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Take care.